you tonight to travel with me to the other side, to a place filled with spirits and shades, monsters and demons, to a place filled with the unknown and unseen. Are your collars low, friends? I fear you may fall victim to this child of the night. They stalk the cold halls of stone castles, luring in their prey with elegant charm. Decline their invitation to come to dinner, and never stay past sunset. The night belongs to them, and they are more powerful. the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Her cupboards are lined with bottles, her drawers are full of bones. She walks and dresses with the certainty of someone that will never be caught. Layers of skirts and textile from hundreds of years ago remain perfectly intact, spells mending her rips and tears. Women and men alike visit her from the village, begging for their fortunes told or impossible love. It is all for a small price and a promise that can never be broken. What's that shadow in the corner of your eye? Do you smell brimstone? A figure stands alone under a street lamp, eyeing the world with a stare so intense she could light you on fire at a glance.
The texture in her clothes is otherworldly, seeming to have formed from ashes and embers herself. The concrete darkens beneath her feet, and smoke trails behind. You found her at a garage sale last year. A sweet little antique porcelain doll with ringlets in her hair. The prior owner was a little too quick to accept your offer, and you've wondered about it ever since. Sometimes you'll hear her laugh from the other room, coming in to find that she had moved on her own. Cracks began to appear on her previously unblemished porcelain, with no apparent reason. Sometimes you'll see her in the corner of your eye, dressed in her perfect teal dress, running through your house and giggling when she makes you scared. It was a dark and stormy night. power outage forces you to wander the halls of your friend's old Victorian mansion with a slow burning candle. You enter the main hall and glance up the staircase that leads to the guest bedroom when you stop dead in your tracks. Something is standing on the first landing, a delicate hand on the banister. You think she looks almost like the painting in the parlor, but that can't be. The lady of the house has been dead for over a hundred years. The woman turns and glances at you one last time, vanishing before your eyes. Friends, do you fear death? As frightening as it may be, death can be quite beautiful. We all must succumb eventually. Death drifts through the world, somehow both solid and wispy. She is not what you imagine death to look like, but somehow it still makes sense. She is peaceful, but powerful. 
she is kind and gentle. How far would you go to get what you want? Would you die for it? Would you kill for it? Would you let blood soak your prom dress, staining the gym floor red as you hobble to the stage? Our prom queen did that and more. I warn you not to whisper to one another. She hates it when people start to gossip.